Hey everybody, Nate from Detroit at Drum Pop Studios here. I just want to make a quick screen capture video for everybody to talk about Melodics a little bit. And if you've not heard about it or if you haven't installed it yet, I just want to do the run through with you to show you how easy it is to do this. Um, for those that haven't heard of it, it's a music lesson training software for drums, drum pads, and keyboards. You see us where the notes are scrolling on the screen there. That's my son playing drums on the Roland TD1 kit. You can actually, it's teaching you in a way how to read music because it's 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 a virtual staff so it's these um implants of of you know skills uh to your brain as you're learning how to do things but there's also for um you know djs and doing drum pads and like i said keyboards okay and up at the top you see it says download melodics for free right up here and there's a lot going on here they got some video showing you how cool it is and stuff and you saw it was also right here too download melodics for free right and so um, what this is going to do, I'm on a Mac. Uh, it's, it's probably a similar process. Uh, let's see, it's also available for Windows because it knows I'm using a Mac computer. So right here, uh, download Melodics for free. Now, thanks for downloading. And what hardware are you going to be using? What they're asking here is like, what are you going to be using it for mainly? Like if you're a family or a group, a house group, and you're going to have, you know, all sorts of different instruments that you want to learn, then just choose one for right now. It's not a permanent. So it's not a permanent choice. Okay. So I have a keyboard, a pad controller uh, for finger drumming and things, or I have MIDI drums. All right. And so uh, we're going to do drums just to show it. And I have a TD one here uh, sitting next to me. So I'm going to click. I have MIDI drums, and you see it started a download uh, in my browser. And so they have the help right here too. And so it's uh, it downloads it your browser and when the download is complete um, you just uh, go to your finder and go to your downloads folder and in your downloads folder you will see um, the melodics v2 all right and when you double click on it it'll come up with this it's a dmg um, file which is kind of like a virtual disk in a way so you just double click it and that's all you do and then it's got some terms as everybody else has and then uh, verifies the image. This is a Mac thing. And then it pops up with this. And all it's asking you to do is drag this icon into your applications folder. So you just do that, which I have already done. Okay. And so after you do that, you can then go to your applications folder um, or you use your launch pad if you want to. And um, you run the program. And I just clicked it. And so what it's going to do is it's now going to boot up. Okay, and so when that boots up, you get this screen, and it says, Welcome back to Melodics, for me, because it knows I've already booted this program before. But I'm going to step you through the entire process of creating an account. So I've signed out of here, and so we're going to uh, go through the whole process. So this is if you have an account already. Um, it's got the email address and password here, and you just log in. Um, if you've created your account with a Facebook account, you can sign in with that, um, or you can create a new account. And we're just going to create an account because we're, we don't want it connected to a bunch of other things, and we just want to make our own. So we want to make up a new a username, okay? And this doesn't matter. This can be as creative uh, as you want it to be. And I'm going to call mine Ludwig Beat the Oven, okay? Next. And here we go. Start with keys, start with pads, or start with drums. Okay, and we are gonna start with drums because it is a great tool. Now you notice all I've done is put in a username, all right? And and already, boom, we are um, connected. It says, okay, we found Roland V drums. Check that out. Look how easy this stuff is. They, they make it really, really simple, especially to get started and and you know, like immediately be making music and jamming and learning more about your instrument. So it says play some notes to ensure you hear some audio. Okay. So all we're just going to do is I'm just going to hit some random pads. There we go. And obviously we've got some sound. Okay. And if you didn't hear anything, um, it says I can't hear any audio and it'll step you through some things to resolve it. But I've never had that situation and I've used a multiple 
I've used multiple different instruments with this so far. I've used a, a couple different drum, electronic drum sets, um, and I've used uh, keyboards and all sorts of MIDI, different MIDI plugs. I've never had a problem getting started. And if you do, leave the comments below. Maybe I can help you. Um, they probably have great support too, or there's this button right there that's going to step you through things. So immediately, we hear some sounds here. Now, the sounds that you heard are not coming from my instrument. They are not coming from my, this is a Roland that we have plugged into it, a TD1 kit. Those sounds were being triggered in their software. They include kind of virtual instruments in their software. All right, so next. And so here we go. For my new username, it wants an email address now, okay? So let's put in, this is a real email, Ludwig at drumpop.com. Don't contact me there because I rarely check that, if ever. And so let's make up a password. All right. So here we go. If you have a promo code, which watch and subscribe to my channel because I got promo codes coming for you. Okay. Um, so anyway, uh, watch, watch my channel for promo codes. You can get... Um, free lessons, you can get extra lessons, celebrity lessons, special artist lessons, all sorts of things, um, and discounts for uh, subscription services. So anyway, um, we don't have a promo code. We're just going to skip that. We just want to get started jamming. Let's go. So here we go. Okay, ready to play some music? So here's this bot here that's going to help you through it. So are you an absolute beginner? Um, can hold a beat? Or are you confident on drums? We're just going to say like, you know, I can hold a beat. Maybe you've played on your lap at lunchtime or something. All right. So here we go. So I want to start with learn to play songs, develop my skills, explore musical concepts. Let's uh, learn to play songs because we want to rock. So it's recommending um, this first course. Okay. Notice it is graded as an intermediate. Now you, this is where I want to walk you through a couple things because it kind of like, uh, put me on this course and I realized after the first time I booted it It didn't have to be that way. So here's the bot trying to help us with um, our assignments and making sure they're all correct now a TD one and other entry-level Roland um, Drum kits are pretty much built for this not pretty much. They are built for this software. They are working together which I think is really cool, especially to have, you know, young musicians um, starting to get getting started and purchasing an instrument, plugging it into their computer and literally having it plug and play. And now they're they have this lesson tool, this virtual lesson tool. So uh, what it's going to say is first, let's have a listen to what you're going to play. Click preview and watch the drums. Okay, so that's what it wants you to play, all right? When you're ready, hit play. <laughs> all right, so here we go. So it wants us to give it a go. It has confidence that it, it, it already mapped what we're going to be playing and everything to it. Look at this, we are in a lesson already, okay? So um, I'm going to, I, my, the drum kit is um, just a little bit away from here. So um, I'm just gonna hit play, play again, and, um, and give it a shot. I'm going to go over to the drum kit and you'll watch when we're playing and then we're going to see it hit green if it's right on it'll flash green if it's uh exactly on the note if it's a little behind it will be purple if it's a little head it'll be orange if it's red i hosed it and i missed the note all together all right here we go Yay, great first attempt. So I just used my space bar to start and stop that, which you can use. And uh, if you have a wireless keyboard, it's really helpful because then you can take it right over to your instrument wherever it is and see the monitor and start and stop it. And so let's push next and see what it wants us to do now. Okay, so now it understands that we have done a test. We had to do no special treatments to our instruments. We had to do no special settings. We had to install no drivers. 
We had to install no instrument selections or sample libraries. This was, you saw how fast this thing downloaded too. I have, I have just a you know basic cable connection. Um, and you saw how ridiculously fast it just downloaded, installed, we're up and running and taking lessons already. So I can continue this course or I can browse other courses and lessons, you see? So you don't have to continue the one that it spit you into. Um, and if you didn't pass it, don't worry. Um, it'll just, it'll give you another chance or it'll just take you to the screen regardless, I think. So that's it. This is, this is where I wanted to take you. I wanted to just show you how easy it was to install into your computer um, and the step process of it and to connect your instrument and immediately start taking lessons just like that. So now we can go to the lesson screen and look at all the ones we can uh, play. You can play a lot of these for free. See, there's, here's one you can uh, play here. Here's one you can play as a demo that they give you. Here's another one. And they got it at different levels um, uh, from beginner to intermediate. And then they even have a couple expert, I think, down here um, that you can give a shot without. Yeah, here we go. Here's one at grade 11. Um, so they, they give you a lot of free lessons to get started and make sure you work with it. And so, but if you want to know information about their subscription packages and things, I have a link in the description. Uh, go check it out. It's well worth it. And it's so easy to get started and set up. Now I'm going to give you more videos in the future about how to set the MIDI note numbers for it. Cause um, I did that and you set it on your device, uh, not within this program. So we're going to have videos about that. We're going to have um, some videos about the lessons. We're going to have keyboard videos too and how to set up your keyboard with it and use different MIDI to USB converters if you need to. So again, subscribe and you're going to find out a lot more about Melodics because we're really into it. And if we're really into it, I'm going to post videos about it and you're going to get into it. So it's going to be cool. So I hope you like this. I hope it was informative to you and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.